Hey everybody, it's me again. Um, I've got another Minecraft tutorial for you guys. Uh, today I'm going to teach you guys how to make your texture packs selectable. Um, I had another tutorial that was how to make texture packs. Um, that one works fine, but you can not You can only have one texture pack and you can't select from multiple ones. So this is if you, have, you want a bunch in your main menu and you can select I want this one or maybe today I want to play with this one and you can you can change them um, like that so this is a little better way of doing it that other one was just kinda simple uh, so let's get started the first thing you want to do is make a new folder on your desktop just right click say new folder and then make this new folder you can name it whatever um, I'm gonna open this up and we'll get to this in a minute uh, but really you need all of these folders so I'm getting a little ahead of myself. To get all these folders, you need to hit start, type in run, or wherever your run is, just find it, run it, run it up, and then type percent sign updated percent sign and hit OK in the run. And it will bring you to this folder. And if you watch my other texture pack tutorial, uh, that kind of explained how to do all this. Um, but anyways, I'll re-explain it. Uh, open up dot Minecraft and then you want to open up the bin and find your minecraft.jar right click and with winrar um, open with winrar archiver and then it'll open up here it's gonna tell me I wants me to buy it but whatever um, and you can just exit out of this you don't need this anymore um, so the this is where you need to literally drag and drop the following folders um, armor, art, environment, GUI, terrain, mob, misc, item and then these four are kinda special I'll talk about those in a minute so you just have to drag them and drop them now the reason is the reason you're not just gonna extract this into this folder the entire minecraft.jar is because this one has hundreds of these class files and we don't want to mess with all those plus it has a bunch of useless files like this uh, lang font com these are all just um, you don't need any of these you need everything in here so the pack.png pack.txt terrain.png and particles.png those are all like in these in between all these class files so let me try to find one you need to scroll down um, try to find it for instance here are three. They're just in there. They're not in any folder. So you want to, you can shift, uh, click the bottom one after you click the top one, and then you can just drag all these in here. Um, and then there's terrain.png, which is somewhere down there. So uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail about that. But when you have all these folders in here, you can exit out of this. This is your texture pack in the making. Uh, right now, obviously, everything's default, um, but it won't be for long you have to edit oh sorry um, you have to edit everything in these folders well actually that's not true you don't have to edit everything you have to edit whatever you want um, but the popular texture packs have everything edited so for instance if I wanted to edit a sword I'd open up GUI and I'd open up uh, items.png and I'd look at this and the swords in there so if I want to edit this I would right click I'd say open with Adobe Photoshop. Um, I I added everything in Photoshop. Um, there are a few other things you can do it uh, with. You cannot do it with Paint. I believe in the other video I said you could, um, but that was false. Uh, I try to correct myself, but can't do it with Paint. I think there's a program called Paint.net or something. Um, I think that one's free if you want to use that one. Um, but basically, if I want to edit the sword, say I want to make the sword green. I would grab the pencil tool, I'd make it one pixel, and then I'd make the sword green. I'd just color it in green or whatever. Um, obviously, I'm not trying too hard on this one. When you're done, file, save, and just exit out. No, I don't want to save. Um, but when you're, uh, if you're not sure if it worked, you can double click on items.png and look at it, and uh, it should be the one you edited. I just didn't save it, so it's not. Um, but anyways, notice how all these are in the respecting respectable folders. Um, you can't just have items.png just sitting out here. It has to be in the GUI folder. 
So everything has to be in their same folders. Um, we took all the folders from our minecraft.jar, well not all of them, but we took the important ones and put them in here for editing. You might be wondering, you know, why can't I just t like download this folder with everything in it? Um, that's because Minecraft updates all the time, so they're always all these files are always changing. Um, so it's important just to take it from your Minecraft, from your version, uh, and that that's kind of self-explanatory. It's not very important, but anyways. So once you've edited all the stuff you want to, uh, you messed with whatever you colored everything, all of your favorite colors. You, it's time to zip it all up in one folder. Um, uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, first I'm get, I'm speeding forward a little bit. <laughs> you see this packed up PNG and this packed up TXT. You need to, uh, you don't have to, but y these basically just explain the texture pack. Jeez, I'm having difficulty talking today. Open up the pack.png and you'll see it's just like a picture of Minecraft. Um, you can edit this however you want. It's just to show your texture pack. For instance, like if I made the grass green, I'd color it all in green just to show it because when you select it from the main menu, this shows up. This is sort of the same thing, but it explains it. Um, you can make this say whatever you want. Uh, you can say Joe's texture pack and then do whatever you want. So this just really shows the texture pack if you're curious as to what these two do and um you don't have to have all this stuff you can have whatever you want so for instance if I if I just wanted to mess with the GUI I would just zip up the GUI um, or whatever folders um, but f the majority of texture packs have all the files edited so you probably want to mess with all of these um, anyways that's that so it's time to move forward. Um, you want to click the top one, shift click the bottom one, right click, add to archive with WinRAR, um, and then make sure it's set as a zip. The default will be RAR. You want to make sure it's a zip. Hit OK. So what we did, we took all these folders and we zipped them all up in one folder. This is your texture pack. You can rename whatever you want. Um, like I said, you don't need to have all these folders if you don't have say you don't you didn't mess with the item you can just delete that you don't need it in there um, it'll just be default uh, it'll just be the default items and stuff so you can you want to edit all of these however you want when you're done zip them all up notice that I didn't just zip up this new folder I went in and I grabbed a bunch of files and I zipped them all up in one zip uh, if you zip up this whole folder with all these things in there um, it'll mess up you want to just zip inside this folder so that's kinda confusing um actually putting this in your minecraft you have to open up minecraft I'm not gonna do it uh, well you don't have to I'm gonna show you another way to do it uh, but you'd open up minecraft you'd say mods and texture packs um, and then you'd say open texture pack folder and then you can just drag this in there um, I'm not gonna do it because it's gonna make my software laggy so I'm gonna show you the other way to do it you're gonna open up run again so I'm just searching for run Type in percent sign app data percent sign, open, open dot Minecraft, and find the texture packs. This is the folder you want. So, you've messed with everything. You made your texture pack. You can drag this in there, um, and you can select it from the main menu. Uh, you can have thousands in here and just grab whatever. <laughs> I don't know about thousands. I, you can just have a bunch in here and you can uh, edit them. However, you can make them select them whatever you want in the game um, I'm not going to do that because this is I didn't edit anything but um that pretty much wraps it up guys uh, I pretty much told you everything so um, thanks everybody for watching uh, you guys have been very supportive uh, <laughs> if you have any questions feel free to uh, question me or comment me or send me a message or whatever and I will get back to those as soon as I can also um, if you see another person that has a question, um, please answer their question if you know the answer to it because, I mean, I'm getting a lot of questions from people that are uh, pretty obvious and uh, I feel that most people would know the answer to, uh, and I can't get to everybody's question. So I'll do my best to answer your questions. I hope this helped. Uh, thanks for watching.